Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capiz channel in Malaysia. I'm at the local Toys R Us and I have to say that Spin Master Toys appears to be your best bet when it comes to new DC Universe action figures in stores. Now, we don't get a lot of the new McFarlane stuff here at retail, but Spin Master has never stopped rolling out the new product. Today, they've stocked up some stuff here that I never even knew was coming. All new 12-inch scale figures based off the Dark Knight movie from 2008. So ever since they secured the DC Universe license a few years ago, Spin Master have been developing a lot of the stuff from the comic universe and also the current movie universe, but nothing from DC's older catalogue of movies. So the Dark Knight actually celebrated its 15th anniversary last year, and the fact that we're now seeing legacy figures from Spin Master means that they have the rights to produce figures based off the older film titles as well. If you guys collect any of Spin Master's previous 12-inch figures, you'll know what the deal is. They are highly possible, except for critical areas like the waist. <laughs> but I have noticed that the quality of the facial sculpts are good. They have only improved over time, and especially when it comes to capturing the actor likenesses. Although not Mira from Aquaman 2 though. <laughs> but this Heat Ledger Joker is very well done, especially for something that's meant for commercial retail. I do find it funny seeing that the toy has a rating of 3 years and above for what is essentially the most darkest and disturbing version of the Joker ever captured on screen. Now to battle the Joker, we also have the Kristen Bale Batman. And this, I have to say, is another nicely done job. They definitely got the unique aspects of his face right. This is Kristen Bale as Batman and not any other generic Batman. And this will display very well next to the Michael Keaton Batman figure they released last year for the Flash movie. Now this also seems like a subtle attempt for Spin Master to appeal to the more serious adult collectors out there. If you're a Batman movie figure collector, then this looks like a definite grab. But I do want to hear your thoughts as well in the comment section below guys. Now, we also have some other 12-inch Batman figures here that look like they're supposed to be from the comics even though it does not state so on the package. But this Batman with the short sleeves does look like he seems to come from the Future State comic book series and also this version that comes with the utility jacket. Now, these have likely been released in other markets already but are now finally showing up here. There's also another new Batmobile here that I have not seen before. Now, Spin Master has been known to put out all new Batmobile designs from time to time that are not tied into any specific media but this one is interesting because it looks like something from the old Canada days in the 90s and it's definitely shaped like a classic Batmobile. This thing seats a 12 inch scale Batman and looks like it's perfectly compatible with one of those future state Batman figures. Now I've not picked up any of their random Batmobile designs but this one to me looks intriguing. You know, what do you guys think? Okay, so all of this new Batman stuff is coming out as part of the 85th anniversary celebrations happening this year. I can't wait to see what else Spin Master has in store for retail next. Hit me up in the comment section guys and let me know what you think about all this and if any of it is turning up in your area. Thanks for watching and I'll catch all of you guys again real soon. Take care out there.